Man, things have really seemed to slow down. I mean, they haven't stopped, obviously, but... Oh, we got a bunch of dogs down there. That's what it is. Fortunately, they're not uh, attacking the tower. They're attacking the flower beds. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And uh, we're going to start off by showing you uh, what I've done so far in our little underground smelting bunker. So I'm in the tunnel here, and uh, this spot where we're at is approximately halfway between, you know, the entrances uh, and more or less underneath the tallest part of the mountain. And uh, so what I've uh, done here is I got this little cubby hole so I can turn the bike around. And I carved out this area down here. I may have shown you this earlier, but I didn't show, I haven't shown you the <clears throat> latest version of it. And I'm just um, cooking stuff up like crazy down here. Uh, so we have uh, two workstations, two cement mixers, four forges, and a chem bench. Uh, the Kim Bench is currently working on stacks of gasoline because I went out and uh, mined some oil shale the night before. And let's see, you're not actually doing anything at the moment. This is my iron, brass, lead, etc. Uh, smelter, and it does have an advanced bell turn off. It does have an advanced bellows and an anvil in it. I need to get another crucible. I can make the crucible now uh, for it too. Uh, what does that take to make? Yeah, that's that's actually not not too bad. Um, we might. I don't know if I have all that stuff here. We have yeah. So we only have five oil here, and 169 iron. So I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, all of the rest of these are just doing nothing but stone. So melting a stone down and then making gobs and gobs of concrete. Um, and then, of course, we have a cooking station here with the cooking implements, and then this is just storage. So all of this is temporary. Well, I mean, the smelting part of this uh, we'll probably keep for the whole rest of the playthrough and use it. But this isn't our actual base. This is just where I'm currently at, you know, and, uh, until we can fully move. And I don't, I don't want to fully move until two things happen. We need to get through Horde Night 49, which is tonight. Um, and we also need to clear the Zuckerberg place uh, because I believe that's where we're going to live. I haven't decided that 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to live. Nevertheless, I've been running all this stuff for, I don't know, day and a half maybe now, in-game day and a half, uh, just full bore. And it's probably hotter than hell as far as the heat map, but it's so far underground and so far underneath the tallest part of this mountain that I haven't even had a hint of a screamer. For all I know, there are screamers <laughs> all the way on the mountain peak wandering around trying to figure out what the hell's going on, but... Um, I, I would be surprised. I'm not saying it, it would be impossible, but I'd be very surprised if they were smart enough to figure out that there's two tunnel entrances to get down in here. Um, now, of course, maybe they could dig, but good luck <laughs> with that. That's going to take them a while. So we'll see. Um, it, like I said, this game has definitely surprised me before and shit happens. So if, if it happens, you know, of course, then we deal with it. Uh, it in fact, if something like that were to happen, like, you know, they found their way through the tunnel, then I would, uh, you know, probably put some doors up or something um, to help prevent that. But we'll see. You know, we'll just kind of play by ear and see how it happens. Most likely, my guess is that they'll never, it'll never be an issue because of where it's located. Uh, also, a couple things to just off camera things to show you. I um, finished digging out uh, this uh, or widening this tunnel. So it's now too wide. And I also made these purchases from a new Trader Bob that I found in the Trader Gin that's just right outside of our tunnel here. Self.
Okay, yeah, so it was nice, um, you know, to be able to find the fuel saver mod. I still also want to find the um, the fuel reserve tank mod as well, uh, but this has definitely saved us uh, on gas. Excuse me, uh, I've made, made maybe two or three, two, yeah, probably two trips out here so far, and um, I have more oil share that I'm going to take back to the other end and have it, you know, turn it into gas while we're fighting the horde, uh, plus I've got all this. I mean, I can certainly get gas from salvaging, but the problem, if you want to call it that, is that I get all kinds of other shit too, which is good, but <laughs> at, at some point it's like, okay, I don't have room for all this stuff. And you start throwing things like batteries, you know, low-end batteries anyways away and stuff like that. So, you know, much better to do this from oil shale. Okay, so our plan for today is to go back to um, our, our original base, and we're going to set up that battery bank that I purchased and use some electric fences for the horde tonight, just because we can. And, um, you know, generally just get ready and do the horde night tonight. Um, these trees here, I, I, I spent I spent some time um, overnight, um, I don't think it was last night, but maybe the night before, cutting down a whole bunch of the trees. That's why, you know, it's so clear here. And I wasn't sure if the seeds would grow in the burnt biome but they certainly do um so i, I just plopped a couple down by my entrance because it's kind of hard to, <laughs> to see that entrance uh you know from out here and knowing that i've got i, I saved all of the pine seeds that i got so I'll, I'll probably just plant a big forest out here and maybe restore part of the burnt biome uh, mostly we'll just do it you know so we have our own lumber okay so let's see i've just recently checked this gin um one thing i forgot uh to do though is I did I haven't checked to see when they reset. Let's just check that real quick. I've already gone through and looted all our stuff. I didn't find anything noteworthy, you know, just the usual. So we did that, and then um, yeah, let's just see when she resets here. Oh my God, I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, you saw me. Maybe something bad had happened. Like last <laughs> night. <laughs> what can I get you today? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, let's take a look at your inventory. Patch up those wounds. So she restocks on day fifty-two. It's I'll buy it off of 49? She, she might have a new inventory. Let's just take a quick look at it. Um, what I'm looking for, again, specifically... Yeah, see, I bought that from her. I'm looking for the reserve tank. No, she doesn't have Aww. it. Okay. Nothing this time? Don't worry, Jen. We'll probably do some jobs for you later. We got other uh, things that we got to take care of right now. So, wrong door. Hey, we got a bag out here. I'll take those. <clears throat> okay, as far as um my routes that I've been taking, um these two highways run in parallel. So usually when I'm uh, coming down here, I'll come down this one. This is you know the one that runs along the mountain, and then there's this other one that kind of that goes up into this town here. But um, there isn't really, unless I go all the way over here and cross over, uh, there isn't really a, a good way to get to the wasteland over here because there's a big mountain right here. So what I've typically been doing is going up through here and then I, you know, cut across here. And I think I, I must not have gone, I, I've been like on this road. But I think the most practical route probably is to... You know, maybe go to here. I haven't. I still haven't fully figured this out yet, of course. And then maybe just cut across country here to to this road, and then up through here. Now I have cut across the wasteland. Um, uh, you know, through through here, because this is kind of this is the highway I really want to get to. Now I can go up and around, but of course that's a little longer. But I guess the nice thing about doing it that way is then we got the straight shot all the way through the city, and then we just drop down to Trader Joel. There isn't another road that goes straight through down here. I've tried it, and it zigzagged me all the way along here. Uh, and then back up, you know, to our town here. So I think, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just get off here. We'll go cross country to here, and then go up uh, this way. For those of you who are curious, anyways, of what my route has been. All right, I will see you back at uh, our old base. I'll keep the camera rolling in case something crazy happens, but until then, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we are home. Um, 
Let's just top this off. And I don't think there's anything else in there that I need. Oh, got a screamy. Looks like the spikes are killing him. Um, all right, so let's see here. Our first thing that we want to do, well, well, let's see what's going on. So I've got two more stacks um, of gunpowder. Those are the 1,000 stacks. I should have a massive amount of pipe bombs made up. Um, so we're ready to go there because that will once again be our primary weapon. Um, yeah, so that's all the pipe bombs that we have for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a few. Um, <clears throat> how many is that? Uh, there is... See, th those are 8. So that's 16, 17, 18 times 20 is 360, right? So 368 plus uh, some Molotovs, which we might be able to make a few more, too. So that's a hell of a lot of pipe bombs. But depending upon how I use them, I could still, you know, go through them pretty quickly. Um, what I want to do here is... I kind of wished I knew how much longer that was going to be uh, because I'm going to make some gas can stacks here. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's just make... Well, no. Yeah, let's make gas can stacks and then just normal cans from the rest of that. So, uh, okay, I, I don't want to pause this because this takes a long time, but if we can catch it more or less after it finishes the next stack, then I'll cancel this or swap them and put this behind it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That was actually perfect time, and I had no idea that was going to happen. And then we'll just reset them behind the, the gasoline. Nice. Okay. That worked out. So, yeah, we have 3,000 um, gunpowder there plus, you know, uh, what, two more to go? No, three more to go. So, yeah, that'll be a nice supply of gunpowder. All right, let's see. Um, so I think what we're going to do first is we're going to go uh, set up some electric fences. And so I bought that generator because I'm not able to to make them yet. I don't think I am anyways. Yeah, see, that's still locked. Uh, so we bought the generator. They're not, you know, they're only less than 3,000 coins, so it's pretty cheap. And we need to make um, some fence posts. So I, I'm probably just going to do two fence posts uh, as long as we can um, repair them then uh, two should be fine if we can't repair them then we might need to rethink it but let's just uh, let's just go over there first and we'll um, assess the situation I, I haven't really given it any serious consideration I just kind of figured well we'll find some place to throw them up <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll do that, and then depending upon what we come up with, we'll depend you know determine how that goes. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you what. Let's since we have more gas cooking, let's grab half of this gas at least for the generators. And I also want to. See, do I have my repair? Okay, yeah, so I got my nail gun. I can actually make a green one, but I'm holding out, you know, for at least a blue before I upgrade that. Uh, I want the, yeah, I want this stuff. Cobblestone. Uh, let's take the iron. And we'll, we'll keep these on us so we can repair the fence posts. And I made some more steel here too. Yeah, okay, good. And let's finish out the rest of the iron that's in here uh, by just making more steel. How are we doing on food, water, and all that? We're doing pretty good. Um, I've got a chamois chowder here. Why don't we go ahead and throw back one of those and a red tea, though. I need to... Once we get established in our new home, I'm going to start getting serious about planting goldenrod and chrysanthemum so that we can make mineral water. Because we can make it now. I just don't have the crops for it. Okay. So let's come over here. So my thought was that we would... Um, 
Maybe add a block to there and one to the other side. And then have the fence posts be pointing down and the wire going across. So if we do it that way, though, the one thing we're going to have to... Oh, shit. I didn't grab the fence posts. Um, we're going to have to shield them from cop spit. So I'll have to figure that out. Those should be in here, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to keep the generator up near me, so I'm not going to worry about putting switches or anything like that in. We'll just turn the generator on directly. Oh! We're, we're missing something else. We need engines, which I have a ton of from all the salvaging. Engines and batteries, actually, but I don't have a battery bank. Um, Let's see. Where are those? Yeah, I had to create a, a, a whole extra chest for these. So we need six of those. This is our first time using traps in this series, so it'll be fun. Okay, so... Um, yeah, the question <clears throat> here again is, how do I do this so that I can repair them? You know, if I put them upside down, I won't be able to see them. So maybe we should put them sideways. Let's do this. Let's pull up here. I also forgot to grab the wiring tool. Yay me. It's just over at the base, though. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... If we put that block there and then put the fence post poking out there, that's still two blocks away from that ladder there, so I don't think the zombies would be able to hit on the fence post. Right? And then if we... Okay, so we want to put it right there. Oh, are they going to... Hmm. Are they going to actually run into that, though, or is it going to be sticking too far out? That could be a problem. Um, okay, what if instead we put a block here and put it down this way? Yeah, that's better. Because I'm afraid if I do it the other way, it's going to be sticking too far out. Okay, before we totally commit to this, let's go up there and I want to just see if I can reach it with my nail gun. I think I'll be able to because you can repair through scaffolding, scaffolding ladders. If I can reach that, I probably can, but it, whoops, no shit, that's not what I meant to do. I can't really tell unless I damage it first. What might be better is to use like a ramp block so it's not a full cube. So let's, um, Let's go out here. And actually, yeah, I want to go down a little bit. Okay, so um, let's pick this up. Okay, so what if we make this block... Just trying to think here. Okay, if we go to shape and we go with, like, say this ramp or this wedge block. And then um, turn it. Yeah, it's not the right direction. Okay, let's just do advanced rotation. Th 
there. And then if I put the fence post um, underneath it, just trying to think if there would be an even better block for this, but this might work actually fine. Uh, uh it, yeah, there. Okay. Okay, now let's also just damage it a little bit. Okay. And then go back up here. Okay, now, um, shit, I still can't reach it. Is it, do I just need to hook the other end up to it? Is that what we need to do? Uh, all right, so here, let's, let's put the generator bank down. And, um, maybe I'll put it out here. It could take cop spit, though, of, in that spot. Unless we do something to shield it. Can I put it on the roof? Oh. Uh, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah, let's just do that. That way it's up out of the way. Okay, that worked. Um, now what we need to do is... Let's go down this side and... Hook this other one up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, we want wedge. Because I'm just thinking maybe... Uh, you, you only repair the end block, but... That's only if it takes damage from running, though, so... I think that's what we want, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Do I need to go out another one? I think I might need to. Let's see. No, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So if I... Uh, well, now I got to go get my wiring tool. All right. I'll be right back. Damage him. Um, I should have probably made a relay. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, so much for that then. Um, that means we should keep a an eye out for that then. Uh, from the traders until I can make it. Alright, so we connect to you. And then... Go around the other side. And connect to you. Okay, now... Okay, so it gives us the repair option from there. But it doesn't do it from here. I thought we could repair through... Oh, that's not... Oh, that's a rail. That's not a, a scaffolding. Okay, well, that explains that. Um, Well, we can fix that. I'm glad I didn't upgrade this one to steel. <laughs> okay, so let's do copy rotation and shape. Put that there. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Hot damn. It works. Okay. So, let's get these upgraded all the way to steel. That can just be uh, concrete. No! Damn it, Jim. I keep forgetting I can't repair through those. Alright, so that 
That should work. Um, let's do our requisite test. <laughs> okay, it works. <coughs> so, as long as we can keep up on uh, keeping this guy repaired, then this should work. How did that get damaged? Oh, well, maybe I just forgot to repair that part. Okay, so the only other thing I want to do now is I just want to put some shielding on that. Probably in the form of some plates that we can then upgrade, uh, you know, to protect it from cop spit. Let's nerd up. All right, and then um, we'll go shape and we will go... Um, let's see here. Here. I think we can just use normal plates for this. If I can find them. Plate. There we go. And then what if we do an on face? Perfect. Okay. So, well, now you're not perfect. So let's do an on face there. And then we need to, oh, there it goes. Just got to position it correctly. And we I, we should probably go down to... Well, hold on. Can I... Cover the bottom of that without covering up the fence? Yeah, see, it's going to... Uh, I put that there and put that there. Whoops. Try that again. Put that one in place. I just want to see if it's blocking the wire. Oh, I should probably have turned that off too. I mean, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Ouch! <laughs> Damage him! Okay. Uh, so we just have to f uh, have a support for it on that side. Um, Alright, let's go back up here. I think I'm just going to make these concrete. Okay, let's pick that back up. Um, and what I want to do is well, hmm, what are the chances that a copper is going to spit straight up? Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. So what we could do is get oops, get a piece, uh, just a real narrow piece. Uh, so let's go to poles and just need something to stick to. Uh, like even this pillar here would probably work. What if we do an on face? Nope. All right, so we're going to need to, to advance rotate. There. So if we put that there, then we should be able to put a plate up against it, like so. Okay. I think that does a pretty good job of protecting from cop spit from all angles except for, you know, from back here, but... We can't really do much about that because I have to keep it open to repair it. All right, let's do the same thing on this other side now. All right. I think we're about as good as that's going to get. You know, we could even maybe put something on this side too. Just in case... You know, some of these Zekers have a one hell of a long reach. 
They could still theoretically... Oh, shit. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's on. Uh, still could theoretically hit that, huh? Uh, so we should be able to just do this, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, stay down. Don't get too high. Mm, there. Even better. Okay, I think we're ready, guys, for the Horde Knight. Um, I'll just, you know, get those blocks out of there, of course, and let's turn off the Jenny for now. So, you know, with the way that the grenades have a tendency, technically we don't even need to repair this one, but I don't think I want to cover it. Can I... I think we could cover at least that much, right? Yeah. Because uh, if I ever have to reset it or rewire it, I sh still should be able to reach in there to do that, I would think. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is, you know, the electric fences, what they're going to do is they're going to stun the Zeeks and they're going to be stuck. Oh, I wonder if that'll knock them off the ladder, though. Hmm. I don't know about that. Um... But that could, you know, if it locks them in place, then it could, um, do I have another block underneath this one? I don't. Hold them in place, right? For the explosive. Sorry, I, my mind wanders. <laughs> All right. I'm, I have a very one track mind. It's hard for me to walk and chew gum at the same time. It's just the way I am. Anyway, okay, so, I mean, theoretically, we should be able to cover that one up too, right? Mm. I'm 90% sure we can, but let's just test that theory to make sure. Meaning that I want to make sure I can still repair it with that plate in there. I should be able to, but I'm not going to upgrade that yet until I confirm that. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how um, how things go tonight with the electric fence added to the already kick-ass design of this base. You know, I, I don't know how well this base would do with demolishers, but up until you get demolishers, it's, it's a pretty good base. Um... You know, it's a safe base, as long as you stay up on the on the repairs. It's cer certainly a safe base. And, I mean, I've killed the Horde, the last two Horde Knights, with this base. So, that alone is a testament to how effective it is. And it, I think it's because, you know, when, when I'm throwing the bombs, especially if I'm throwing them down there, the bulk of the zombies are still up against that wall somewhere going up and down the ladder and whatnot, and, you know, very, very often the bomb goes off before it hits the ground, and that then it's just blowing everybody off the ladder that's currently on it. So, yeah, that's a great design. Uh, by the way, I don't take... The, I mean, this is my version of this, but the general uh, basic design, in other words, a tower with ladders and those slanted uh, rails there, um, I got that idea from um, Pseudo Posse. Um, so just, you know, credit where credit's due. Um, now, this is my version of the base. I've, I've you know, kind of customized it, you know, to what I want it to do. But but the basic design is is from him. And I don't know if he's the one that originally came up with it, but that's who I saw it from. So just want to give credit there. Um, all right, guys. Well, I think I don't think there's anything else for us to do until the Horde Night starts. So I'm going to cut the camera and just, I don't know, fart around, do do stuff, stuff and things. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll run over and see if Wrecked happens to have a, a reserve tank mod. And then I'll meet you guys back here when the Horde Night starts and we'll hopefully kick the shit out of the Horde again. All right, guys, Horde Knight is just about upon us. Um, I am about two-thirds of the way to the next level, and I actually have a point, but I'm sitting on that uh, because I want to put it into Strength 6, which will give us an effective Strength 7 with our Sigar. 
And then we can get Boomstick up to four. Skull Crusher, 69er, and Heavy Armor. Well, what's Heavy Armor? Yeah, Heavy Armor, and we'll get that maxed out. It'll be nice. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put a couple points into Mother Load at some point, too, but um, the consensus is the 69er is generally better than Mother Load. Um, so you should focus on that first and then do Mother Load later. So... All right, let's see how things go tonight. Um, this is our first time using an electric fence, and uh, we'll see how it, that works. Um, I don't know if that will knock them off the ladder when they're stunned or not. I'm hoping it doesn't because then it holds them in place and we can blow the shit out of them. So. Okay, that doesn't seem to knock them off the ladder. Interesting. Okay. There we go, we got our first bag. Nice. Oh my god, this is loud though. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that explosion. That was amazing. Yeah, so it's it's kind of making them stick down on the ladder more. I'm almost wondering if that wire should be up higher than it is. Because uh, we can't really get good explosions uh, unless they're up above here. We can get the bomb to stick. Yeah, like that. See, we can get the bomb to stick down in there. That's when it's really going to kick ass and take names. Or, or if I can get one to, you know, set another one off like that. It's just a kind of a timing thing. I can also cook it a little bit, too. All right, we got a bird or three. Get rid of those guys. Let's see how this is doing. Yeah, I see it's already about halfway down. Okay. The nice thing about it though is it's gonna it's gonna reduce the damage up here because the fence post is holding him down. Or, or yeah, the electric fence post is holding him down. And I don't think they can do any damage while they're zapped either, so no, that was a good one there. Get a couple down below here. Okay, let's just set this one down. And then we'll... Well, yeah, that one's going to fall. There we go. I mean, it, it gets stuck amongst them often enough to where it's... A, I think it's reasonably effective. Not perfect, but reasonable. Let's cook this one. Ah, nice. Okay. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll set we'll set one down there, one down here, and then we'll cook the third one. Okay, here we go. Ah, nice. That worked out pretty damn good. I don't want that white to get through here. All right, let's check. Uh, this is really loud, you guys. <laughs> it's completely blowing my eardrums out. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually have to turn my mixer board down a little bit. Okay, let's check our post again. So uh, we do have to check that fairly frequently, but again, it's um, it's a trade-off because now we're not having to repair up here quite as much. Okay, let's do the same thing. Put two down there unlit, and then let's cook it. Oh, that works really well. That works really well. Okay, let's just do a quick repair here. Oh my god, I can't believe how loud that is. <laughs> I don't think it'll be excessively loud on the video because of how I have my audio map, but for my headphones, it's like 
completely blown my eardrums out. Right, let's do the same thing. We'll get a couple set down. And let's cook it. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, let's put those points into strength. And how about we light them up with a Molotov? Oh shit. Let's bring some more pipe bombs down on our toolbar. Cook it. Cook it, baby. Kablooey. All right. There we go. Um, I was going to say something. Can't remember what it was now. That's taking some damage. Later on, you know, when we get into really late game stages, I'll be probably using grenades for this. The thing about pipe bombs, though, is that <laughs> they're so cheap, though, you know. But grenades are going to do more damage, and later hordes are going to have mostly greenies. So we're going to need the extra oomph. Shut up. You're just adding to the noise, man. All right, let's light him up again. The fire gets all the way down on the one stuck on the fence, too. Now, one thing that could be happening, and we won't really know for sure until later, but the Zombos that are stuck underneath the ones that are being zapped, they could be doing more damage to the ladders down there. So we'll have to kind of see how that one goes. Love it. I'm seeing more ferals, it seems like, and we have whites now. I don't think we had whites before, so we can definitely tell that things are getting a little more intense, but nothing we can't handle. Yeah, if you guys try this design, um, add that electric fence when you can. That's really handy. Get out of here. I don't see any broken ladders so far. Again, I'm not worried about the zap zombos because they're stunned. They can't do any damage, but it's maybe the ones below them that could be a thing. Now oh, that one went down to the bottom. Okay, let's get one down. Okay, I see a cop coming up. Oh! <laughs> Held that one a little too long, I think. Challenge, kill spider zombies complete. Nice. Let's check our fence post. Everything's really looking good up here. A lot less repairing overall. Uh, 
Oh god, that works good. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any serious visible damage yet on the ladders. So that doesn't mean it's not happening, but they're all just stuck down there. Should probably be just shooting their ass. Those pipe bombs are going to expire here in a second, so... If you leave a pipe bomb sitting down, you know, too long, it'll disappear. Unless they change that, I don't know. Alright, let's do a touch-up. Oh, shit! Got a cop up there. Fence post is lasting... Uh-oh! Oh no, the cop blew up our fence post. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, it blew that one up. Okay, well, that was fun while it lasted. We might have to, um... We might have to put those further out maybe next time. Thinking. What time is it? It's, uh, 1230. So we got, uh... We got a few hours in, you know, with that fence post active. Yeah, cop explosions. Eh, that sucks. Okay, well, we're fine, of course. We'll just go back to doing this the old-fashioned way. Because it works, too. Wait till we get some more Zekers up here first. Oh, that sucks, man. That, those are working so good, too. So well. Seems like things have kind of slowed down a little bit. Let's get something down below. fell all the way down so let's ignite it at the bottom we get a pretty decent amount of kills all the way at the bottom of this thing too so that's just it it's, uh, works pretty damn good let's pick that one back up man things have really seemed to slow down I mean they haven't stopped obviously but oh we got a bunch of dogs down there that's what it is fortunately they're not uh, attacking the tower they're attacking the flower beds so there, all those dogs were, you know, part of the count. Because I have this set to a max of 32 Zeeks. I could probably do 64, but that's just very taxing on the machine as well. Put one down here. And let's do a cook. Oh, <laughs> the cop blew up and took out the bomb. Alright, let's do a quick repair here. Nothing's even close to being severely damaged. Let's light him up. Missed. So yeah, I think uh, maybe next time we hold the, um, that one didn't hold it long enough. There we go. Uh, we got to hold those fence posts out a little further because it was the cop explosion that, you know, got it, of course. We should be able to do that without any difficulty. That's funny how they, if they don't have any arms or legs, they can get through. 
Zombies will make any kind of sacrifice to get at you, I suppose. Miss me. Beautiful. Oh, man. We got more dogs and a dire wolf. Every time it slows down like that, it's like it's because of dogs. I wouldn't mind um, that dire wolf staying alive a bit, especially if he's not attacked in the tower, because that way we have a better chance of getting his bag in the morning, you know. Grab some more bombs here. Oh, I guess we have another one down already. Beautiful. Okay, um, it still seems awfully quiet. Oh, we got boss buzzards. It's the first time I've seen them. Bluey. Let's do a little quick repair here. That was a good one. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, next horde night, whether we do it here or somewhere else, I'm, I'm going to have a lot more Molotovs. Keep those things going, too. All right, I want to come out here for a second and just take a look and make sure nothing weird's going on. Yeah, the dire wolf is attacking the base a little bit. Probably okay to kill him now. Um, because, uh, well, I don't know. I hope so. Still have two more hours. Double down below. Boss buzzard. Quick touch up.
Do that one a little too soon. There we go. Gotta time it just right. Alright guys, well, I think it's about that time for us to uh, time lapse the rest of the night. We don't have too much more time left and everything seems to be kosher, so... It is morning. And we did get another skill point, and we actually have a, a loot bag up here. Let's finish the rest of these guys off. I hope that red bag is still down there from the uh, dire wolf. Ouch. Right. Kill these guys off as quickly as possible here. Let's get uh, this out. Shoot these guys off of here. Okay, that's it. Nice. Well, here, let's shut this off. These things hardly use any fuel. Of course, it's because I don't have a lot of stuff hooked up to it. I'm going to turn that back up. Oh, good. The red bag's still there. Okay. I mean, decent stuff, but nothing super phantasmagorical. Check the blue bag. Got the... Huzuma was it mod. Uh, this one here. Extender. Put all this stuff in here real quick. Back here, let's just do this. Looks like we have another Enforcer outfit. You know what would be nice is if we could get a reserve tank. Either the tank or the mod. Either, either or. 
That seems a little bit light on the bags. It's probably because we killed so many of them early on that those bags disappeared, I guess. But nevertheless, uh, certainly a successful Horde Knight. We got a new mining magazine. A craft ore into compact stacks, okay. Hey, look at that. We're finished with miner. Uh, the miner tree, which is... The hell is it at? Oh, art of mining. It's the first one. 20% more ore for mining. That is really good. That is amazing. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. We also got a tools digest. Um, we got a couple of cooking bow hunter, wooden bow quality six, uh, two tools digest, armor, sledge, uh, no shotguns, two more armor. And damn it, I should have, I, I completely forgot to put my, ah, oh, shit. Um, I bought a blue nerd chess piece. Gives you a 25% chance of extra points, and I completely forgot about it. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Yeah, so definitely a successful horde night, ladies and gents, for sure. Yeah, and I still have quite a few pipe bombs left over, so we don't have to make quite as many next time. So the plan is going to be to, you know, fix up the base. Um, on the, As far as the electric fences go... I mean, I can try, I guess I can try and, you know, move them out further and see if that helps. But if, if a cop explodes like right up near the top, I don't know that we can do a whole lot about that. But I can move them out further, so we'll try that for the next time. Um, there's a very good chance um, that we'll probably, you know, have to use this horde base again for the next horde night, too, until we really start getting established in our new home. But... One difference between tonight and all the other nights is there are no ladders that are completely broken. Um, this center ladder is, I mean, in really good shape. Uh, okay, that ladder is definitely down quite a bit. It's usually this spot right around here where the most damage occurs. But I think the electric fence mitigated a lot of that for, you know, the first couple hours of the Horde Night until it disappeared. Uh, so that's nice that we don't have to replace any ladders and then... We did have that dire wolf chewing on the this side of the building, but I don't see any real significant damage. If we would have let it live until morning, I'm sure they still probably would not have been able to break through this steel. Maybe. I don't know. But overall, the base is in very good shape. Uh, probably the best shape, in fact, that I've seen it in so far in terms of having to repair things. And uh, it was a successful horde night. Okay, guys. So, shit. Really? You're going to send a running horde after me right now? Could at least give me a little bit of a break. Where are the rest of them? Oh, here they come. Okay. If there are any more, they're probably stuck behind Dick Steiner. So yeah, I'll get that... Uh, I'll get that repaired, you know, so we can use it again uh, the next Horde night. Unless, you know, I, I mean, I might have another solution before the next Horde, but I kind of doubt it. We'll see. Because I, I got to get focused on, you know, moving. Uh, one of our biggest tasks now is that we've got to clear the Zuckerberg estate because um, that's most likely going to be where we're going to live. So we're going to be focusing on that. I'm not planning on really moving a whole lot more stuff out there until we get our actual home base because... Our little hollow down at the bottom of the mountains, that's really more for smelting. So we'll just kind of wait uh, f until we do, you know, move everything until that time comes. Uh, but with that being said, uh, we do have, actually, hold on, before I let you go, uh, we do have a point in, uh, uh, yeah, we have one point. So I'm going to put that in Boomstick, and that gets us up to level four Shotgun Master. Shotguns deal 40% more damage, 40% faster fire rate, and 25% faster reload. And, of course, we find more shotgun parts and ammo. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, next point, we'll go into Skull Crusher, and then probably 69er, and then find the heavy armor before we move on from there. Uh, you know what? I should probably actually throw some points into Big and Fast. I think I will, because it'll allow us to sling the, fled, uh, the sledgehammer quicker. Um, so that's something, you know, to think about, too. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to get the Horde base fixed up, like I said, and then 
um, head back to our new home. And probably in the next episode, we will start working on clearing out the, the Zuckerberg or whatever the hell it's actually called, <laughs> estate. And that's going to be interesting. It's a tier four, so it's, it's going to be a challenge, but it's also going to be a hell of a lot of fun, too. So looking forward to that. And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please take a moment to hit the like button, sub uh, like button bleep, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.